All right, guys, uh, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, we have finally got translations for ECA, LR, Trunks, and Goten. Why are you asking? Maybe you're asking. Uh, why does Global not just tweet these? <laughs> and I would say, I don't know. No clue, brah. Kind of kind of feels like they should, huh? Just saying. Global. Hey, Amatsu, remember when you said, oh, details will be posted to social media? I remember, Amatsu. We all do. Uh, global as well, Amatsu. Thank you. All right, Trunks and Goten. Um, I do have a slight concern with them, and that's that they do need another Trunks or Goten or Krillin um, to be Mega Elite, but I think specifically... It is Trunks and Goten. I, now, I, I do have high hopes for this character because they're active right here. Yeah, Krillin doesn't get this. And this is what's crazy. Because this gives you 100% dodge. Bam. 100% dodge. So, I, I would imagine we'll end up using this kid, Trunks. He's usable. Um, things can go bad, but he, he he's definitely runnable. We could definitely probably make it work. Um, so let's see what, uh, let's see what we're going to be looking at here. And right, again, shout out to Minato. I did slime him, but you know, I, 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 th I said, thank you while I slimed him at the same time. All right. Uh, Goten and Trunks, Gifted Warriors or Kamehameha, category key three, one seventy percent of stats. So if they're super good, you could potentially run them as your lead. Um, and then bring a friend, Carnival Gohan. 12 key super attack, 50% attack units, one turn, immense damage. Unit super, 50% attack and events for one turn, immense damage. All allies, 30% attack and events for two turns? Oh. Multiple turn support? That's pretty good. At, for a while, I was talking about how these, like, these can start to be really good. When it's multiple turns. Remember the attack buff right there? I mean, it'll give you a little bit of extra damage. It's not the biggest deal. But the defense is is pretty substantial. And this is if there's a Trunks, Goten, or Krillin on the team. Uh, Trunks or Goten on the turn, Krillin on the team. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. So... Three key, 100% attack, and he wins at the start of turn. Uh, I'll pause in a second. We'll take a... Oh, my God. Their stats are going to be so freaking monstrous. Jesus. Their stats are going to be insane. What the hell? Three key, 100% of stats. 150% attack and defense on super. 70% chance of another 100% attack and defense. And another 70% chance of another 100% attack and defense. High chance of an additional super. So it's not written the way we'd really want it, which is guaranteed additional of the high chance to super, but they still have that. And they have a high chance to crit. And they have a 30% chance to dodge. Just 50% additional, 50% crit, 30% dodge. So uh, this is why like a lot of people are saying that the hidden potential system at this point, it, it just needs a, an update. Because it's like all these characters... I mean, that's how they're building these characters these days. They're just giving them all these abilities. So, it's like... For a lot of characters, like Trunks and Goten right here, all we're doing is buffing whichever thing we want the most. Additional crit or dodge, right? Then they get 20% attack and defense up to 100%. And 10% dodge up to 50%. With each attack... Received or evaded? Huh. That's pretty good. My god, imagine if, like, Int Evolution Blue Vegeta had that. Brother, I would have 30 dodge on his ass. <laughs> right? Hell yeah. Oh my god, he would be... In Evolution Blue Vegeta with this instead is like number one overall. Not actually, but he's he would be so much better if you could do that and then toss 30 dodge on him. People will say, no, no, but it's true. It's true. 
Damn, that this is a good passive. Wait a minute. 50? They have 80% dodge? 80. 30% chance to crit. 30% damage reduction? When all allies are Kamehameha. They don't need this, but this is a nice addition. Oh, they seem pretty good. I don't... They don't even need Trunks and Goten. I mean, that helps a lot. All of a sudden, they're two turns supporting. They seem quite good. Damn, yeah, I mean, you guys know. I just tossed full dodge in those bad boys, and we're looking good. They do get 50% right there. Um, Let me see if EZA stats are up. Someone tweeted them. All right, so here's what we're looking like. So they have 22,000 HP, 21,000 attack, 12,000 defense. Um, And they potentially could be rocking 80% dodge, 30% damage reduction, and 80% crit. Think about that. 80% crit, 80% damage reduction, 30%. Wait. 80% crit. 80% dodge, and 30% damage reduction. I just love this shit. Each attack received or evaded. That's so, like... Like, the, there's the, the worst is, is these characters that have to build up in a, in a way where the, it's, like, up to the enemy. I mean, I guess technically they still have that. Because, like, we'd still, like, need to put them in front of where the attacks are, but... The fact is that they could either get hit by it or dodge it, and they still get the full buff. They seem very good. Um, here's their 200% teams. So, I mean, they're here. Full stats on this team. Um, I mean, they... I, I pro it probably wouldn't be the best idea to always run full Kamehameha teams, but... Damn, they would be nice on Movie Hero as well. We definitely can get away with Kid Trunks. Um, I mean, it's, you know, he is essentially dodge or die. But, I mean, don't forget, he's got all this going on, too. Uh, this, this Kid Trunks is not... Like, they could have made him a little better. But he uh, he's effective. He's an effective free-to-play character. Uh, that, I mean, that's... At least we have this in the celebration, that the characters are pretty good. At, like, there's not a, f a true stinker. I, I guess EZA and Broly, we, we could say him, but that's it. Like, a everything else is a W. Like, the Videl is good. I think that the, e the free-to-play EZA Videl seems pretty good. Oh, Paragus sucks cock. Yeah, Paragus is trash. Paragus is horrible. Um, and then Int Broly is, again, he's like mid or bad or only a little bit good. Something like that. But the rest are great, so that's good. Um, now, last thing we could take a look at real quick is just uh, a lot of the upcoming events. So, we have several things coming. Let's just look at all of this. Um, by the way, keep in mind that this is not the end of the celebration either. At the moment, we have... It's exactly two weeks left, basically. It's 15 days. Um, the celebration ends on the 3rd. Last year... I believe the celebration ended on the 5th, and then Physical Rosé came out on the 3rd, by the way. Physical Rosé. So, it's like we... I'm sure we'll get something next week, and then we probably would potentially even get something the week after as well. So, I... Like, this Rosé spot was kind of like the final surprise thing. My unofficial official prediction is... I'm going to say Namek, Goku, and Full Power Frieza on, like, October 1st, 2nd, or 3rd, or something like that is, is my guess for that, but we'll see. And then hopefully next week would be a super easy A. I, I mean, this celebration right now, this worldwide download celebration, you know what we're down majorly is, like, the the sub easy A characters. Remember, we had Physical Gwasun's Masu, we had Int Mai, right? We had this Tech Trunks, 
and I mean, I count these as sub characters. The Tech Future Gohan, the STR Trunks, the Int Zamasu, and the Trunks and Mai. I count them as sub characters, but they got their own EZA, those four. It was like a, their own EZA event, right? And then we also got the Int Rose, that was for part three. This is essentially the Trunks and Goten slot right here. Um, and then we have one more. So, I mean, hopefully we will get a super easy a next week. Um, we'll see what's going to happen. And they could do a batch of easies for the sub easy a characters. STR Trunks from the first Broly movie. The physical Gohan uh, banner unit with Trunks and Goten. Like, they could do a bunch of stuff like that. Alright, so we have the Prime Battle event for Bio Broly. Remember, he's going to be able to be easy a We get easy a Bio Broly. We have a new Dragon Ball story for the Bio Broly event. And there's going to be a new support memory here. Uh, Android 18's fees. You are a baddie, Android 18. Okay. We have, uh, new items will be able to be obtained here. New EX skill orbs. Okay. We'll see what these could be. Um, I don't know, maybe for Bio Broly and Trunks and Goten and shit like that. Uh, new stages of the story event that allow us to get EX orbs for Kid Trunks and Paragus. Uh, Okay. We'll see. Trunks is literally just all dodge. That's it's like I I mean I, I, I you know it sucks, but it's literally all that matters is dodge for him. It's if he's anything else, it's not the point. So, um, I think it was first form Frieza who did have good shit. Like it was like a dodge plus defense. So hopefully that's what we get for these guys. Uh, then we have a new uh, Easy Area stage uh, showing up here for Bio Broly. That's good. Um, and then we have a new stage added to the Devil Awakens. Uh, presumably going to be against Bio Broly. So there we go. Um, part 3, the start of Part 3 looks good to me. Um, we'll see. I Certainly, I, I mean, the celebration, like once we've hit the start of Part 3, this year's celebration is now way behind last year's. Because we are legitimately down like eight easy A characters compared to last year or something like that. So there's still a lot of catch up to do. Um, this is a good start for part three. But we are still going to need a strong week next week too. For this celebration to even creep up. Because right now, like if we go by all the last years, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, you could say the cooler movie was better, like uh, Worldwide was better or the Future Trunks one, whatever. Those are both better. I, I This celebration has got to be better than the 2021 one. Like, I, I can go back and double check what the whole celebration looked like. I, every year with Dokkan, like, they do get better with, like, content and stuff like that. I'd have to double check. But this celebration still has a ways to go to catch up to the Cooler Movie Celebration and the Future Trunks Saga one. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. Again, Trunks and Goten looks pretty good. LR Bio Broly looks pretty good. We're definitely winning in that avenue. That's for sure.